Hello everyone, I am really excited to share with you the items I purchased from March's Polish Pickup. The theme for March was album covers. I'm not really familiar with a few of the uh, inspirations for some of the items that I got, but nonetheless, I am very happy with the items that I purchased. So from the March polish pickup, I actually purchased two polishes, a uh, scrub, and a stamping plate. So let's check them out. First polish I want to share with you is actually on my left hand here. I absolutely love this color. This is so pretty. This is by the brand Nail Hoot, and it is called Pieces of You. This was inspired by one of Jules' albums, and I believe it is the same title as the polish here, which is Pieces of You. Pieces of You is described as a delightful Caribbean blue polish filled to the brim with iridescent color changing flakies and purple sparkle. The first coat of Pieces of You is very thin, so it will need to be built up. I was kind of surprised at how thin this is. I am very happy with the amount of those iridescent flakies in there though. Going in for the second coat of Pieces of You, this polish is still not opaque for me. I can still see my nail line a little bit peeking through there. I do enjoy those iridescent flakies against that Caribbean blue base though. It's very pretty. Applying that third coat does make this polish opaque for me. I do really enjoy the way that those iridescent flakies built up in that third coat. Very pretty polish. So that's three coats of Nail Hoots Pieces of You. The next polish I purchased I am actually wearing on my right hand here and this is by Pampered Polish and this is called Feelin' This. Now this was inspired by Blink-182. Um, I don't really know a lot about Blink-182 or their albums so I'm not really sure if the album title is called Feelin' This. I don't really know but this is a beautiful polish. Feelin' This is described as a white curly base with baby blue and cotton candy pink micro glitters. There is also blue, pink, and black glitters of various sizes and shapes in here. Going in for the first coat of Feelin' This, this is a normal curly. It does get a good amount of that white base and the glitters do apply really well. However, it is not quite opaque. There is a tiny bit of unevenness. Going in for the second coat of Feelin' This, this coverage is amazing. The white curly base is so opaque, it is just absolutely perfect. There is a great amount of glitters to that white base. I think this is a phenomenal Crelly. So that is two coats of Pampered Polishes Feeling This and I am feeling this. This is an amazing Crelly polish. Absolutely beautiful. The next item I want to share with you is by the brand KB Shimmer and this is a sugar scrub. This was inspired by Prince's Purple Rain album this is Purple Rain in a jar. That's exactly what this looks like. That album cover is completely mimicked in the jar here. This is so good. She did a beautiful job with that. This is actually in the scent uh, Raspberry Beret. This smells so good. So good. There is actually glitter in here too. Um, I'm not sure if the glitter goes all the way through this or if it was just kind of a nice little touch on the top here but I did use this when I first got it on my hands and I love it. I have used scrubs in the past. I actually got a one from Stella Chroma in a polish pickup a few months back and I am out of that. So I'm very excited to use this and have this. This is a huge jar, so this should last me for quite a while. I love the way this makes my hands feel afterwards and I love the scent. This is such a good scrub. The final item I am really excited about too, this is actually a stamping plate. This is by the brand It Girl. There is so much fun stuff here inspired by music. I think this is really exciting. I love the huge crowd there. I think that is going to be so awesome to put on your nail. I am really excited to use this stamping plate and I can't wait to see how it's going to stamp. Um, it does feel like it is pretty well etched in there, so I'm anxious to see how this It Girl stamping plate is going to stamp. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Those are the items that I purchased from the March Polish Pickup. Let me know if you guys purchased anything from March's Polish Pickup. Also, have you even looked to see what the theme is for April? 
I haven't, so I don't know. I haven't started a wish list. Have you started a wish list? If you have, let me know what's on your wish list because I may need to check it out. Uh, yeah, I've been doing a thing where I wait until the day that the polish pickup opens, which is the first Friday to the first Sunday of every month. And that works pretty good for me. I just kind of pick my items at that time and it prevents me from making a super huge long wish list to where I have to try to dwindle it down to just a few. But I think waiting until the day that it launches helps me to kind of narrow down my choices a little quicker. Please leave any comments or suggestions below and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.